Hi, I'm Melanie McQuaid, and today I'm going to talk to you about some chords. So you might have seen these already. You might have seen athletes using them at races as part of a dry land warm up. That's a great way to um, get a bit longer of a swim warm up, particularly for those of us that race long course and tend to have very abbreviated uh, warm ups due to a limited schedule. So starting your your warm up for your race with uh, some time with the stretch cords is a great idea. Uh, it's, it's great to target swim specific muscles and allow you to really activate uh, your core and uh, your lat muscles and get your shoulders um, fired up and ready to go uh, as soon as you get in the water. So but it's also a good way to start to reinforce some good techniques. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some things to think about when you're using stretch cords and then um, just give you an idea of how you can incorporate it into your training. So there's two main things that I think um, most athletes that I work with and I think about when I'm swimming and the first thing is catch and so that's obviously right around here at the front of your stroke and finish which is back here past your hip at the at the end of each swim stroke so uh, there's a lot of ways that coaches will try and um, give you mental cues on how to establish your catch and everybody's got their own way of talking about it um, but what I like to think about is uh, elbow armpit. Obviously there's no such thing as an elbow armpit, but for whatever reason that works for me and you can try it. So when I go to um, establish and instigate my catch, I think about my elbow armpit being down. So obviously your, your, um, your fingertips, you want them to be down, but if you think about your elbow armpit being down, this part, while your fingertips are down, while you're pushing back, you um, Keep your, you keep your elbow up and, and essentially when you're pulling lots of water your elbow is up your lats are engaged and um, you, you actually your pull is shallow so I think um, fingertips down elbow armpit down and pushing straight back so whenever I do stress cords I kind of look to make sure that my elbow armpit is pointed down and that I establish the, the high high elbow, elbow armpit down position, and just hold it the whole time. And so when I do this, there's a lot more proprioception when you're on land than when you're in the water. And um, this just allows me to kind of keep doing that over and over and be able to see, uh, obviously I have a mirror there which you can't see, but I can see that that's what I'm doing. I'm setting that up, I'm getting the elbow armpit down, and I'm pushing straight back. Um, one thing I see a lot in, um, athletes that I coach or that I've seen at training camps and things like that is that a lot of athletes that are sort of you know in their in their 40s now in triathlon they learned this um, keyhole stroke swimming and so they tend to lose the water as they kind of try and create some sort of keyhole so right here you can see my elbow armpit is pointing that way not down and as they come and try and do this, some S or a keyhole they're dropping their elbow completely their hand is coming completely under their body and then by the time they finish, they pretty much miss the whole power phase of their stroke, right? So they're essentially doing this. So when you're doing that, you're losing water all over the place. So using stretch cords helps to eliminate this really terrible habit. And um, so you can basically, you know, fingertips down, elbow up or elbow armpit down. The armpit down for whatever reason keeps my elbow up better than thinking elbow up. So do what you like. Um, and then push straight back. The second part of the swim stroke is obviously the finish. And um, you can practice that with, with your stretch cords by just making sure that you're pulling all the way back, right? You could pull it here and then obviously you're practicing a really short stroke, which is not ideal. So push straight back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all you actually do when you're using stretch cords. Um, you probably want to mix a little bit of like at a gentle pace with some faster, which kind of helps you build power. You can alternate arms. But whatever you want to do, just try and reinforce good, uh, good technique with your, with, your, with your body so that when you go back to it in the water, you uh, have established some neurological patterning that transfers to your, translates into better swimming. Incorporating some swim cords before every swim is a great idea. As it, it will help you to figure out what your best warm up is for race day. This is also a great technical tool. So if you are reinforcing good technique more of the time, you, you stand a better chance of actually translating it into your stroke all the time. So, some chords. Good luck with it. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching.